welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a while and it's been an especially long time since I've done a bullet journaling video, but with the start of the new school year and September approaching probably actually here on the day that I post this, I figured that it was appropriate that I actually create a bullet journal setup video once again and I actually had a really good time finally sitting down and once again bullet journaling. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and please let me know if you decide to recreate anything from the video. I would love to see it. Now onto voiceover me. So I began September's title page with an idea I saw off of Pinterest, big surprise. <laughs> but that was a banner with some planets and stars hanging down. I thought that this would be pretty easy to draw and I was definitely right. This is a really easy and fun cover page to do that doesn't involve any of the crazy watercolors that I find a lot of people tend to use for their cover pages, which is totally awesome, but I don't always have the time, patience, or energy for that. Anyway, I'm going in with my Tombow Fudmisuki, is that how you pronounce it, pen? and writing September in calligraphy and then I'm coloring in the planets and stars with my Tombow dual brush pens in the... Um, uh, just kidding, I don't know the color numbers, sorry. <laughs> and then I'm coloring the banner in with a mild liner. As you can see, I was nervous about smudging the ink so I had to kind of be careful about coloring it in and try to avoid directly smudging juicy ink over the uh, September so that it didn't smear. But I think it worked out. Doesn't look the greatest in terms of strokes because mild liners don't always do the best at that, but I added a few little stars and some highlights and I like how it turned out. Now on to the next page. This is the calendar page and I actually did this before I filmed the other page, but you know, I put it all chronologically for you guys because I was being thoughtful. But this page I actually tried to do once and messed up because you'll see. I drew the shape before I drew the boxes for the days of the calendar and then I didn't know how many days were in September so it was it was a journey but this was the spread that for some reason inspired the entire theme for my month because I just really wanted to do this giant triangle behind the rest of the format for the month. So I colored it in again with a mild liner just because I love the color. Again, I'm annoyed by the streakiness, but it's fine because the colors are cute. And then I colored in my block letters and kind of, I don't know, this looks kind of like retro color themed to me. I don't know how you feel about it, but I filled in the days of the week. Or actually, no, I did not fill in the days of the week, but I filled in the days of the month and added a little goal section over on the side just to list a few things and I like how this one turned out. It's very different from my usual style. Then on the next page I um, decided to start a habit tracker again this month because while I usually fail to keep up my habit tracker there are just a few things that I want to get into a good habit of doing as the like new school year begins. And I love the look of habit trackers, I'm not gonna lie, I just think they are, look super cute. So yeah, as you can see I'm making a lot of mistakes doing this month of bullet journaling because it's been a while since I actually have bullet journaled. <laughs> I had to use my white pen to white out a few lines and mistakes that went awry <laughs> in counting the boxes. Um, and then in the bottom left corner of this page, I doodled a little rocket ship. I normally would look up some rocket ship doodle on Instagram or Pinterest to do this, but I was like, you know what? I can draw a freaking rocket ship and it looks okay. So I'm happy that I proved that to myself, I guess. <laughs> And then on the last page here that I did for this video, because it was whew, a long process to film all this, as you can imagine, especially with coloring all the things in, was my brain dump page where I can just put anything that I feel like planning out or any brilliant ideas I have on the spur of the moment. All right. 
So here's the final flip through of my bullet journal spreads for this month. I really like how they turned out. They're pretty cohesive, which is a pat on the back for me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you would like me to come back with an October bullet journal, fingers crossed. And thank you so much for watching my video. Oh, also subscribe because that's nice of you. <laughs> Alrighty, bye!